Building a college basketball program involves a lot of things. Recruiting, coaching, execution, sometimes luck. VCU has had success in all of those areas in the last four years under head coach Shaka Smart. But it's not just Smart and the players that deserve the credit. Here's the story of one assistant coach who has been a key piece to the Rams puzzle. You already know VCU head coach Shaka Smart, but chances are you aren't as familiar with his first lieutenant, Mike Rhodes. Now to appreciate Rhodes the coach, you first have to hear about Rhodes the player. In high school, he was an all-state guard in Pennsylvania, and in college, he was the national player of the year and guided Lebanon Valley to a national championship in Division Three. He also can go out there on the court and practice right now at 40 years old and be the best guard in our program. He would have played 15, 20 minutes on our Final Four team. He's probably one of the best shooters I've seen, you know, and I've been around a lot of great shooters. Maybe the toughest guy I've ever played against. <laughs> against. 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 Yes, sir. At just 25 years old, three years after becoming an assistant at nearby Randolph-Macon, Rhodes took over the Yellow Jackets program. I had a dream job at 25 years old and absolutely loved it, and we were very fortunate to, to bring in some great players that had some, some great careers. After 10 years of tremendous success at Macon, Rhodes knew he wanted to make the jump to Division I. A school just 15 miles south seemed to be a perfect fit for Rhodes and his family. My wife and I, our date nights, were coming down here, getting something to eat, and going to see VCU games in the Seagull Center, and that's just what we did. Soon, Rhodes would move from the stands at the Siegel Center to the sidelines. Shaka Smart, relatively unknown at the time, was introduced as VCU's head coach on April 2nd, 2009. Shaka knew he had to fill out his assistant coaching staff quickly, and two days after his hire, he had dinner with Mike Rhodes. But it wasn't here in Richmond, but halfway across the country at the Final Four in Detroit. My head was spinning at that point because I got the job a few days earlier. I grew up a Villanova fan all my life, and here they are in the Final Four in Detroit, and I didn't see one second of the game of that game because I was at, at dinner with Shaka, sort of interviewing for, for this position. As soon as we started talking, I knew that he was a guy that we had to have on our staff. Just two years later, and it was Smart and Rhodes coaching at the Final Four. To take it to the next level, to get to a Final Four, nobody envisions that. You hope for that stuff to happen, but then to experience it. Shaka describes Rhodes as a great X's and O's guy, part of the reason he's in charge of the half-court defense, which is far less glamorous than VCU's Havoc-style press. Meanwhile, Rhodes describes himself as tough, hard-nosed, and demanding. Intense, fierce confident never lets us slip you know his expectations never drops I look at him as like a father type for me and I have I have my father love my father but you know on the court he just brings something out of me that not too many people can and many times that's in direct competition in practice where Rhodes isn't afraid to D you up or even take an elbow to the face at the expense of his two front teeth as for the future, Rhodes says he does have a goal of being a D1 head coach, but is still very happy at VCU. I can't believe how much I'm enjoying this four years in now of being an assistant, working for Shaka. I'm having a blast, and I think everybody knows that. We'll be back right after this.